three, two, one. Tiger belly. Hey. Hey, hey. Welcome to Tiger belly. Um, Bob. Captain Bob. Captain. I want to be known as Captain Bob today. Mm-hmm. Got it. And we've got uh, our one of my henchmen, Gilbert Gulonu. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Filipino gay madness. Oh, that's not true. Sucking <laughs> dick all day. Well, that's not true. Every day, Hollywood oh, okay, style. Sure. Whatever. We got Kalila and I. Kalila's here, my girlfriend. Give her a round of applause. I was Thank kidding. You. Stop. Stop. Stop the clapping. And then um, we have our fourth guest ever. And wow. his name is Chris Watosku. Uh, no, <laughs> what it. is it? Well, tell me it right. Watoski. Chris, what? <sighs> I don't. He's he hasn't been able to get it right. I since don't his know. Okay. Like when I first of all, when I met you. Uh huh. So Chris Watoski. Yes. Chris Watoski. <laughs> I met him. Um, you know, I'm on. I'm reoccurring on a show called Love on Netflix. Recurring. Chris Wata- recurring. Recurring on. No, re- recurring. Somebody corrected me. Recurring. It's not, yeah, it's not reoccurring. It's not reoccurring. It's recurring. Yeah. Oh, okay, what? stop. Stop. Start over. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not start over. I am going to continue to say reoccurring <laughs> because that's the way I memorized it. That's and memorized. No, it. Yeah, and no one's ever going to stop me. Okay. It's it's the same way he always says espresso versus espresso, uh, and the baristas always kind of. And you they know, give me an eye, and I go, I'm not going to change. It. I know what it eye. actually it is. Okay. <laughs> And also, when I'm at Starbucks, I don't say venti or any of that. I say? say large, extra large. And they too. go venti. I go, no, I'm not doing your language. Right. Italian. Yeah. yeah. You, no, it's not that. It's just they want to be cool and uh-huh. they want to do have their own little, fuck you. Yeah. It's but large. I, but I bet when they ask for your name, you say Bobby Lee from Mad TV. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He actually does. <laughs> and that's what they write on the cup. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Chris? No, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't fucking do that. <laughs> I don't do that. Can I just uh, say what he did at the restaurant the other day? Uh-huh. A waiter comes in with with a pad and a pen to uh, to get oh, our gosh. order. He thinks the guy wants his autograph, and he's trying trying to take the order. So he takes the pad from the guy, the Korean guy. He's like, yeah, no problem. He goes, hey, love you, love Bobby Lee. Gives it back to the guy, the waiter. And the waiter's so confused, like, oh, okay. And he walked away, and they came back with another fucking pad. Paper was so embarrassing. Yeah, I was like, sweetie, he just wanted to get her order. (laughs) Why did you assume that so quickly? Because he put the paper down in a pen on the table. Oh, that's weird, though. Right? And then he was like, hey. He said he was a fan. No, he didn't. The other guy was a fan. (laughs) Oh, he didn't shit. even speak English. <laughs> he just oh <laughs> shit! It was a Korean restaurant. Anyway, um, I met Chris Watowski at um, Watowski, baby. Watowski, Watowski at um, we shot a s- couple of scenes in Love, uh-huh. and I came home and I go, I knew this guy, and, and I, we couldn't pronounce your name because I didn't know how to Google you. I was <laughs> like, Wutuku. I think it was Watuku. For the uh, longest yeah. time, I thought he was talking about a Japanese guy. That's yeah, how badly yeah. he butchered your yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I apologize. Watowski. Polish. Watowski. With Tass, baby. With yeah, Chicago, Polish. Yeah. Wataski. Wataski. Yeah. So you're from Second City, correct? Uh huh. Yes. And were you? Is there like a Friday <laughs> Saturday company there, or no? I was on the ETC stage, so I performed Thursday night through Sunday night. Oh, so that's the main. Uh, well, then there's the main stage. I, w- I didn't make it that high. I made it to the ETC. Why? Because it's just as high. It's I no no no. Why didn't you go to the top? I I was pretty much at the top. Okay. He, hey. He so was, you he guys, was at, hey, he was at the top. Gilbert can. So yeah, you guys know each other from yeah. Chicago. Well, we, we work together. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we know each other because we do corporate training videos. Second City has. A, <laughs> <laughs> Second City has this whole other wing of like bullshit business yeah. stuff yeah. that you can do to make money, and that's what we've done. Yeah. Oh, so they have. So what kind, kind of, of corporate a, videos do you guys make? Oh, it's so depressing. Yeah, uh, Philip like, Morris. Like what corporate? Oh, Philip Morris. Like, yeah. Give us an example of big like, tobacco what looks training like. videos. Oh, training videos. Training videos. It's, oh shit. Do they so have to so soul funny? crushing. They write them funny and we just say the lines, but it's yeah. soul crushing. Oof, it's rough. But let, it pays let, good. Let's improvise one. I want to see what it would be like, okay? So, um, oh, you want sexual harassment? Office no, I like I like, I like, like the t- tobacco one. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. They, you still have to, to teach them about right. no sexual harassment in the workplace. Oh, so, the, oh, so it's, it's all so under one umbrella. So these fucking morons who work for <laughs> Philip Morris. Morris. All right, yeah. so watch these you videos. And I, are you and I are in an office scene. Oh, uh, okay. in an office scene? Yeah, so I'm going to walk up. You're by the cooler. Okay, okay. <laughs> 
Hey, Tom. Hey, what's going on, Jeff? Did you sell some menthols today? Oh, I did. I did two boxes. Excellent. I sold two boxes. Hey, but you didn't post about it on social media, did you? Because we wouldn't want anybody uh, on Facebook to know our inside practices. <laughs> that is true. And you have a really nice ass. Hey, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> I'll see you at the meeting. You have a nice ass. Thanks, Jeff. Is that the sexual? Would they That's do something like that? Basically, what it is. And yeah. then they say, "Don't do that. Yes. Don't do that." Yes. So let's do another one. It's okay. soul crushing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you guys do one. Uh huh. All right. Hey. Say my fucking name. Hey. <laughs> hey, are you Jobin? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, Akita? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and that would be the end of the video. You can't say, you know, call a man a black woman's name. You can't. Uh, you can't do that. In the All right. Place. Well, just finish the scene. Akita. Though. Finish the scene. <laughs> That's a kind of dog. Jobin, what are you doing tonight? Oh, you know, I'm going to hit up the local tavern over across the street from Philip Morris. Got a date. I do, yeah. But I'm not going to post about it on social media. <laughs> <laughs> Good, also, man. it's a lot of it has like to do social with social media. media. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's actually saying it verbatim. <laughs> oh, from word for word. That's how you do it. Yeah. My it's God. fucking it's awful, crushing, man, but yeah. it pays good. How, yeah. what's the That's pay? why Gilbert has to fly good. back it, to Chicago to do to do. Him. Tell me what the pay is. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like a thousand bucks a day. So for that's me, pretty good. Not I'm bad. not a big yeah. star. Yeah, like that's big. a pretty no, good that's thing. That's good. Yeah, it's not bad. He's yeah, okay. No, I mean, I did a commercial oh, a month ago. Here it goes. Too, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. How much did you make, Bobby? How about we not talk about it? I'm not talk about it. So people don't try to fucking extort your ass. Yeah, but I did. But I didn't do a commercial too. So I'm 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 in the same boat. The struggle. The struggle is real. I'm not a household name. Like I'm not you. a household I, name, fuckface. And I, you keep saying that. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you right now. Not no house knows my name. Come on. No, I get. Hey, aren't you in something? I go. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm one no, of those guys. Come on. I'll rip. You know what? You know what you are. I gotta tell you what you are right now. Tell him. Tell him. Yeah. I can. He's like a Baron Holtz, like Ike Baron Holtz, John Baron Holtz, where you're. They're kind of good looking, but they're ugly at the same time. But you can tell <laughs> sure. that they're funny. Hey. All right. So oh, okay. that's what you are. You can't look at me right now, cross eyes, and say that you're <laughs> <laughs> cross eyes. That's what he said to me. He said my heard, eyes are too close together. I heard inside He's, info that before you had a girlfriend and when you were living in Chicago, they eyes. used to call you the Pussy Slayer. That's well, I mean, Ooh. it never stuck. Little, I mean, little, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, little no, bird hey, look, to my left told yeah, me look, that because Chris Listen. was already in Chicago before I got there, so he was kind of building his name. I came uh -huh. there with a bunch of other guys uh -huh. living in a, like a frat house, and we used to watch the uh, the ETC in the main stage, and we see a couple of guys, we would get pissed. Because the good-looking guys had the personality, and they got all the girls. That's right. I've heard so did swimming. you know him when he was really fat and obese? I've seen pictures, but I didn't. I don't think. Well, actually, no, maybe, maybe a maybe. little bit. Yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. no, no one knew who this fuckface no, was. No, 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 no. Look at me. Did you ever make it to ETC? Oh no, hell no. Why didn't you climb high? I couldn't. I wasn't the pussy slayer. Well, well. You will, sweetie. People have different trajectories no, I, in life. I'm just disappointed in him. <laughs> don't be disappointed. Wait, stop for a second. Okay. Stop for a second. Look at me right now, fuck. Yeah. Okay. You're representing a people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My did, people. Why didn't you go to the top? I, I kind of left before the big diversity kick kicked in. Actually, is yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. It was all white that, people before I left. That's also, another thing I want to get into. Mm -hmm. He's doing the whole in, um, CBS diversity showcase again, and I want you oh. guys not in, I'm to. I'm not auditioning. Not, you're not auditioning. In it, not in it, not in it. Cause, I mean, oh, you're Jen not even done in it? it? No, no, no. They haven't even started yet. Let me ask you something, pal. But I have ties to that. Yeah, so. you have ties. Why do you have ties? My girlfriend wrote for it. I know the guy who runs you know it. Dory. You know Dory, right? Uh -huh. Dory. Yeah. What is it? Explain it's, to me what it is first. Well, I've never been a part of it. I know, but you, for your best. It's, try your best. They gather a group of diverse men and women. Negroes. And <laughs> Chris, did you just say Negroes? No, but that was clearly just that. You just said Chris that. just said that. No. <laughs> you don't say Negro on my show, my friend. That was clearly... Don't say no, right don't now. say America's that. America's favorite We're going to have to rewind that. Korean We're going to have to rewind Bobby that. You just did not say Negro. So they gather a bunch of these fucking... Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Chris Witas Witoski. Chris Witoski. What are you doing? What are you doing on this show? <laughs> And then right, are there play. other ones, and other then, races than uh, them? And the, yeah, the whole melting pot. Belt filthy Mexicans. No, what? see, that's <laughs> clearly <laughs> him. Spicks and goops. Is this a Mad Lib <laughs> podcast? <laughs> we finish our sentences for you. What right, so it's, it's a diversity. So it, they they get a, a bunch of um, yes LGBTQ too. So yes. they have yes. what is everything. everything. Explain to me what that is. You know what that is. But then I want to know again. The, and then they they all get together. <laughs> yeah. And then they put on and then they work on a show, a sketch show. Yep. And then they put it up at this big theater, and it's horrible. <laughs> it's always bad. But does anything <laughs> happen to these people? Like, do then a, a who's who in Hollywood comes to see Some it? Some doors. Casting directors, agents, managers. 
because for me, we didn't have that when I started. I came to LA with no diversity program, right. and I had to fight my way in. Right, and it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I hold up, I held my own. But yeah, my point right. is, is this: is that why are you doing this, man? For the doors to be open. Yeah, but you <laughs> opportunity opportunities, yeah. He's under the impression that the only reason the diversity showcase even exists is because they have to create something so that they don't get sued by Probably. or get accused of some type of discrimination. So I he's like, let's create a space for the spicks and gooks, you know? <laughs> yeah, so they Chris, stop saying that. Yeah, stop, Chris. Jesus Christ. That's clearly We're not in Chicago. We're not boy. in Chicago. There's a video camera here that's going to But we, we have uh, it's green screen. Yeah. Yeah. It's green yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so but I would argue that when you first moved out here, there wasn't as much competition. Would that be true? Oh my God, um, we're gonna get an argument. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was. There was as many, as many what? I mean, when you would go to a, an Asian audition, mm -hmm. you would see Randall, mm -hmm. Ken Jeong, um, you would see all of them. Mm -hmm. You know, guys that you're in a Brian T, uh, Song Kang, mm -hmm. all these guys, and there would be one part. In fact, I auditioned for King Kong. <laughs> what was the role? What role? If you uh, watch the King gorilla? Kong, no. <laughs> wow. No. Yes. Jack Black's character? <laughs> no. I auditioned for there was one Chinese guy in King Kong that doesn't have a line, but if you see him being chased by King Kong in the Winter Jungle, he's there, right? You had a no line, right? You know who auditioned for that? Who? Every Asian yeah. actor wow. in town. In town. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, guys that you know that aren't regular, you know, like Randall, people mm -hmm. like that. We all auditioned for it, and there was no line, and it was embarrassing because they had you run in a circle in a room, and then they would go. Wait, hey. that was the actual audition. Yeah, there was because yeah, there's no line. How the fuck are you gonna do it? Oh god! And then they sent the tape to Peter Jackson. What was your running style? Yeah, what was high your knees? <laughs> Just high knees. <laughs> yeah, Heisman? a high knee, a high needed, and then. <laughs> And you then they, they, I'm money. Can you? They said, can you scream more ethnically? Oh. Yeah. So this is what I did. Oh I went because originally I went, ah, right. This is what I did. I went, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was great. Bobby, stop kicking, please. That was great. But yeah, so when I started, we had as many, but not as many roles, right? Oh, so I, I think it's easier now. But what Papa did, which is me, right? I survived you know what I mean I yeah. fought my way to the top and not top but I fought my way in and I'm I have great agencies now I have a good mm -hmm. manager I do different jobs here and there but my point is is that I didn't have a diversity showcase mm -hmm. so I'm asking you Gilbert to get out of that oh I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm don't real. take opportunities it's not an opportunity but you got to this happen because you're very Talented and funny. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, you still so see it. I'm, yeah. No, we don't know yet. Yeah, you do. You're right. There is no, there is no work ethic involved in his success. Right. It's all like talent. Talent. No, you know how funny you are. It's not that. Yeah. It, this is it. This fucking guy. I didn't like him when I first met him. <laughs> and he when didn't, it, yeah. yeah, I didn't. I didn't like him really until <clears throat> I saw him. He opened for me because he had never done stand up, and I said, "Will you do a show?" You know, and he goes, yeah, "I'll do it." No, it's you. Do this show or I will fire you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> My bad. I said, if you don't do this show, I'll fire you. Yeah. He went up in front of a big room, first time up, and destroyed. Wow. And I looked at him and I went, wow, this kid is talented. So my point is, is that, fine, do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Do the diversity showcase, but I'm not on board. I know. I got it. Okay. I think that it's bad for business. For I, think I think that networks and <laughs> casting directors and <laughs> agents – should go out and seek talent, ethnic talent. Uh -huh. And I think that Hollywood, like NBC and all these networks, should des you know, have programs that are actually going to book people into shit. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Instead of saying, because I was a part of this thing called CAPE for years. What's that? It's an organization led by a fantastic lady named Wenda Fong. She is an executive at Fox, and she's Asian, obviously. Uh -huh. And she had this program called CAPE. And so all we would go to these meetings, everyone in Hollywood, and we'd discuss problems with, you know, and nothing would get done. You know, it was just I realized it was just so that we could feel like we we're doing something. But mm -hmm. it's like, you know, it's got to change from the top, dude. But anyway, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I, was me, that long winded? I apologize. No, I, good. let me say something yeah. and I'm going to probably regret this, but I sometimes think like. A funny white guy 
is a dime a dozen. Mm-hmm. Like there mm-hmm. are fucking thousands of funny white guys in this town and, you know, in show business. Right. And so sometimes I wish that I had a diversity. No, I don't. No, no, I'm, no, no, I'm no, glad I'm white. No, that's a great. No. Yes, <laughs> but if you think about the great. characters written, also, there's a dime a dozen. There's a dime a dozen things written for funny white guys. Right. So you are still. Yeah, you, you look know, at the breakdown, in a, in a, right? In a, you uh-huh. look at the breakdown. Maybe once a year they do 20, let's say two, 20 comedies, uh-huh. movies. Uh-huh. Okay. All 20 of them, the leads are going to be white. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Two of them will be allotted for they'll have side guys that have accents or like or, or ethnic, right? Right. If one of them's black, which is usually is, yeah. right, that leaves one movie a year that one minority. Right? So it, it's Mexican, Filipino, whatever it might be. Okay. Right. And and usually that role ha- there's a lockdown on it. A name. So for years Ken Jung was that guy. Mm. So they take that away. You and now, about, okay, yeah, now going. you have nothing. Wow. Now you have nothing, and then you have to resort to, and people say to me all the time, you're really funny. You're so naturally funny. Why aren't you doing more? I want to. Yeah. But there's just not, they're not there to do it. Mm-hmm. I guess I never realized how privileged I am. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. But that's, Typical funny white guy. Yeah. yeah. That is true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But do you, when you wake up in the mornings, do you feel white? I do feel white. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is, like, what is, a, what is, what is that feel like, What does that feel like, Chris? You're asleep? Okay, you're asleep. It feels it. like uh, I wake up and I'm yeah. like, okay, I'm still six feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got. Yeah. I have a medium-sized penis. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, wow. And, uh, and, and, Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome and low I, average. And yeah. I'm going to wa- wake up, get out of bed. I'm going to be sarcastic all day. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. be a smart ass. Yeah. I'm gonna be uh but I uh, I'm gonna be happy go lucky. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna be very charming. Yeah. I'm gonna make people I interact with laugh. <laughs> with a, <laughs> right. With a witty quip. Right. Oh, mm. Wow, wonder wonderful life. Wow. What I've do never you what do you that. wake up feeling like, sweetie? I feel weight. Like a weight. <laughs> on your shoulders? No, on my stomach. Because I'm fat. Because <laughs> I weight on my stomach. I'm like, oh my god, I'm fat. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And then I when I stand up early in the morning, I, it doesn't take that long because my sh- legs are so short. Yeah. So I just kind of lift up and I'm, I'm up on, on my feet. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's yeah, quickness, yeah. quickness. Yeah, there's no movement. I just kind of roll on, on my feet. Yeah. Oh my God, what happened? <laughs> and then I kind of go to the bathroom and I go to the bathroom, I pee, and I, then like, you look at your penis and you go, aw. Mm, no, no, I've seen your dick. It's no. Yes, yeah, I have. I, zoom, I sent you dick pics, but I zoomed in on them. Okay. No, so you, you don't know. Didn't. I Can bumped into Chris at Groundworks. He goes, yeah. "Hey, man, I think Bobby likes me, right?" I'm like, "Why?" He shows me his phone. It's like 20 dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> no, not not even a text. Just dick pic after dick pic after. No dick explanation. Pic. No I, explanation. I, I know because when we were shooting, because the scene that we shot, uh, Chris and I, we were. Um, it was a party scene where mm-hmm. Paul Russ's character. We can't give it away, away, but it was a party scene, and so there's 20 reoccurring people on there. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got Jason Dill, Andy Dick, you got uh, Horatio Sands, uh-huh. Kerry just, Kenny. Yeah, it's like you have sixty. So we're sitting around where we're sitting in this party, and there's nothing else to do. So I just kept selling Chris dick pics. Okay, so is that considered <laughs> sexual harassment in the workplace? Ooh. Oh, I don't know. I I could probably have you. Oh yeah, yeah if you Chris, could probably. If Chris went to a producer, yeah. and said and was really <laughs> bombed and said. God, this fucking Asian guy. You know, Bobby. He keeps selling me pictures of his penis. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I'm out. Oh yeah, that's it's a good thing true. you enjoy him. That's not it. I, <laughs> you think you guys think I'm retarded? That I, I, I'm not gonna <laughs> sense that I have that kind of relationship with this guy. Yeah. He gave sometimes. me his number, and then as soon as he gave me his number, I'm like, is he ready for a dick pic? And in my head, yeah. I'm like, yeah, he is. And I was, and you know that we hit it off right away. Re- right away, you can tell. Yeah. yeah. You like, can tell because we just immediately started fucking with mm. each other. Like Gillian Jacobs. Mm-hmm. Uh, we All my scenes are pretty much with her. But you would and I love her. Never, I would never in my whole life send her <laughs> well, a I hope not. Let's not do that. That would just sure. be straight up creepy. <laughs> like, hey, Gil, you know what I mean? She, I don't right. think that she would like hey, it. Gil, right. check this out. I don't think that most people would like it, actually. <laughs> like Judd Apatow. If I yeah, send him a dick pic, I, I don't think he would like He's too many... You don't have his phone number. You don't have his phone number. Also, I don't have his phone number. (laughs) (laughs) You you have his phone number? No, no. Uh, He tweeted a picture of me one time. Did he? 
Uh huh. And it was great. I'm for real. He tweeted like, "Love season two. We're working on it." And it was a picture of me and the two old guys. All oh, right. Made my day. Oh, made great. my week. How does that make you feel, sweetie? Really bad. Don't. <laughs> even. I would kill for your career. No, he he. I went to that lunch thing with him. Hey, you went in with a luncheon with him uh, with Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. Right? What? Whoa. Yeah. He invited me to a luncheon, but not through text. Through his through agent. His, through his, through, no, he through his assistant. Through his assistant. Yeah. Through when? email. How long ago was this? <laughs> Why? With Seinfeld? Yeah, Seinfeld had a benefit <laughs> thing, right? So I was at Judd's table. So it was me, Judd, Wayne Fetterman. I forgot who else. What? And then the table next to me was Sebastian and all those guys. And then, you know, Seinfeld came to the table, hello, and his wife. And who called thing. him Robbie he called, the she, whole She kept afternoon. calling Robbie, Robbie the whole <laughs> afternoon. And they all, Judd and all the guys thought that was funny, but... um. Did they hire you as like a seat filler or like was it? Oh, no. <laughs> you're a bench warmer, baby. <laughs> but that's cool. That's da, da, da. I, just, I just wanted that was a very funny joke. Just, uh, <laughs> no, I'm absorbing the joke. <laughs> absorbing. Very good. But, very good. Thank you. But I knew. So okay, let me. Okay, so yeah. I knew of your reputation because you're what a is guy. My reputation. You're a guy who whose reputation precedes him. Uh -huh. I think. Okay. I think you are. What is the reputation? You know, I mean, the Mad TV probably is is like what I was like. Oh, okay, Bobby Lee. Yeah, yeah. And I'm good friends with John Barinholtz. Yeah. He, I would consider him my best friend. I love him. And I look up to his brother Ike, and he's always been really nice to me. Yeah. And so I, through Ike, I think, and all that, it's like, oh yeah, Bobby Lee, Bobby Lee, he's crazy, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah Bobby yeah. Lee will take his pants off, run around, da 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 da. <laughs> And so I'm being honest. And yeah, so before I met you, I was like, okay, I'm going to meet Bobby Lee. You know, he's going to, we're going to, I'm going to be like, okay, he's probably annoying or something like that. But then I met you and it was, uh, I totally changed my perception. Right. Totally. So the perception of me is that I'm annoying. Not annoying, but you know, yeah. crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people but have said that you to are before. so funny. You're so funny. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you are. But people have said that to me before. Annoying. I'll show up at a club uh -huh. and they'll go, and then I've never worked for the club before. And they go, wow, we should have had you earlier. I go, really? why? Because, I don't know, we just didn't book you because we heard things. Really? Oh, the reputation. Like of, inappropriate or annoying? No, not annoying, but just kind of crazy and, you know what I mean, um, eccentric in a uh -huh. weird way. Uh -huh. you know? Those and are I'm my like, type of people, though. And I'm I like, like eccentric. No, I mean, oh, I, yeah. uh, 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 I'm not. I'm not those things. No, I, you're not. No, I, I, I'm professional. I show up. Mm -hmm. I know my lines. Mm -hmm. I audition. Mm -hmm. I humble myself. Sometimes I bomb. I show up, do my stage time, and I'm respectful. And yeah, I, I have done things. When I first got on Matt, I did some things for the first three or four years I'm not proud of. Well, I stuck things in my butthole because the only thing is <laughs> shit in the office. I was shit in people's in office offices. and stuff. But uh, I'm guessing when you were younger, we have a term in... in the Philippines, we call them KSP, like Kulang Sapansin. When you were younger, you were probably that. You were probably so KSP, where you always wanted the attention, so you inadvertently uh. became so annoying to other people, even though it was funny, or perhaps you were naked. But I think you've matured since, and I think that mm -hmm. people really... Now you're just funny. You're now just you're just so now funny. you're not annoying. Now you're just funny. Yes, and now you strike me as a guy who you've been through all the shit, and now you and you've come out of it alive. Yeah, and now you're just fucking great. Oh wow! No, oh. I didn't know you back then. Yeah, I know. But I know how I was back then. Ooh, I've been sober now for two years. But yeah, I used to be you the, wait, the sober pussy. For two the, years? Yeah, but oh. I used to be the whatever you called me, the, the pussy, pussy king or whatever. Yeah. I remember just seeing you. Oh, I regret so it. much stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, your girlfriend, what's her name? Katie. Katie. She, you could tell that she is extremely funny also. Yeah. So funny. She's just quirky and funny. Yes. And um, you guys look good together. Thank mm -hmm. you. Because we saw um, Very Chris at the rap party. Mm -hmm. What did you think of that rap party? It was at like a haunted mansion or whatever the fuck. Haunted mansion? Yeah. yeah so you go in, right? Mm -hmm. So w we pull up. And you see David Spade in the parking lot yeah. trying to get in. We're go, trying hey, to get yeah, in. Yeah. No, he's in. Oh. I go, hey, David. He waited for us. We all walked together. Yeah. Me, David, my girlfriend, and a couple of other guys. They wouldn't let us into the building. It was a house. Mm -hmm. And Dave was like, what the fuck's going on? They just wait. Okay, the next group is coming in. So you walk in as a group, and you're in a old-timey room. Like It's like a, there will be blood kind of room. Mm -hmm. Wood, old-timey bed, and in the bed is an old-timey-looking young girl. Mm -hmm. She's dressed, and she, she's like, I, no flash photography is when you're here at, what's it called? Um, no, no vacancy. vacancy. No vacancy. Uh, mind your manners. 
You know what I mean? You can't come back in this room to get out. And we're like, <laughs> is this she said that, right? Yeah, and she was like, like, no exit. We thought we were literally... walking down to a dungeon. Like, uh-huh. Universal no, I was going to leave. I'm, yeah. I'm leaving. Oh, okay. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Little white lady. Don't and tell she was me what sitting like this, too, yeah, yeah. like on the bed, like yeah. this. Yeah. Like sexual? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm with CAA. Don't ever talk to me like that again. <laughs> you say you're great. I want to say, say, that. say that. I did want to say that. You know what I mean? I'm with CAA. Matt Blake. I like my agent. He's going to get you. But So then what happens is, her bed moves oh, shit, that's to good. the right, that's good. and then that's there's good. stairs underneath her. Underneath, underneath her. the bed, mm-hmm. and you walk. Down. We walk down, and then there's the party. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Weird. And we walked in, and immediately I said to Kalila, "I gotta get out of here," mm-hmm. because I didn't know anybody at first. Oh man, I fucking hate it. Don't you hate that? I hate it. Isn't it the cast and everyone? You is it also you, weird that like you you feel bad when you don't remember everyone's names? And that's me. I I'm so fucking bad at that. Oh. And hey, Chris, I'm the second, you know, <laughs> fucking the AD. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why I give nicknames. Smart. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's... short leg. <laughs> yeah, and then they go. Hey, you know what I mean? That <laughs> makes sense. Well, yeah. Makes sense. Eyebrows. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you know, yeah, mine's yeah. You, pan face. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Gay pan face gook. Okay. You. Thank you so much. Hey, gay f- pan face gook. Uh, uh, yeah. You made me call you that the first day we hung out. That's right. You made yeah. me call yeah, you. Me. It's like excellent. It's, it's a excellent. bonding thing. What right? happened? What happened? Yeah. He, so he made me look him in the eyes. <laughs> Wait, what? Watch. He made me look him in the eyes and, ca- and, 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 say, and, call and say, you are a pan faced gook. Mm-hmm. And then Chris said, I'm not doing that. I okay. did. I know, but he said at first, I'm not doing that. Okay. I go, you have to do it. Mm-hmm. He goes, why? <laughs> because it it's the biggest. <laughs> This it's is the, the first time we've ever met. We've yeah. ever met. Oh, so no interaction before. No. Wow. It's just a little. I know. I, I am a little wow. weird, I guess, in that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's but, not good with small talk, so you might as well get into the nitty gritty. Yeah, you gotta this get is the only way to do it. Call I me lo- a pan face goop. Yeah. You know? yes. I love that. Yeah. Though. I love so that. So he looked at right my eyes. Know. I'm like, uh, and he said, You're a pan face goop. And I, my heart my heart opened up like a flower. Immediately, wow. you went to the bathroom, took a dick pic, and then sent it. Yeah, yeah. Immediately. This guy's in the club. That's right. Yeah. So you, you should do that too, Gilbert. One day, yeah. just yeah, go yeah. up to white people and say, "Call me Pan Face Gook." <laughs> no, you can't do it. You have to know again. Feel the energy. Yeah. Feel, feel the energy. what their energy is yeah, about. Yeah. Because with Krista Flanagan, I don't know if you know Krista Flanagan. Flan- you know oh. Krista Flanagan. Oh, I thought you were saying he was last day was Flanagan. No, <laughs> no I don't. Who's Krista that? Flanagan was on Mad TV with me. Okay. And the I don't, I'm not gonna tell the story again, but I farted in her face the first day I met her, <laughs> and she didn't like it. She cried, and I had to get a lawyer. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. So Again, I learned you learn the training videos. Yeah. yeah. Should have watched me and Chris's place. training videos. Yeah. Mad TV is that, training videos. Is, is, yeah. is that in the video? <laughs> Probably. Is the yeah. fart thing in the video? Yeah. Probably. Don't yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't fart. But um <laughs> yeah, you have to read the situation. Yeah. You do. But that but when you meet somebody like that and you guys c- click, like I love it. Because you're a guy who right away I'm just like, okay, we get each other, we can just fuck with each other. Yeah. We can give each other shit. Yeah. That's my favorite. I love it. Yeah. You sometimes peace, you 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 work with people, mm-hmm. like I did a movie with Michelle Yao. You know who that is? Yes, from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Uh-huh. Nice lady, uh-huh. but nice lady. But the first night I'm there, I was in Thailand for two months <laughs> shooting this movie, and I'm meeting Michelle Yao. I'm like, this is cool, and we're eating. Everything's fine with some of the executives of the from the movie, or whatever. And then uh, I go, I want to go. I want to get a good job. So I go, hey Michelle. Um, Later, after dinner, can you teach me how to run on trees? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Right? And she looks at me, beat, and she goes, angrily, that wild walk. <laughs> <laughs> like, I fucking didn't know that. <laughs> Bob, you're stupid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Like, I thought that she actually knew how to fucking do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I, I went, yeah. I know it's wire work. <laughs> <laughs> and then you didn't you know what else happened? So now I leave the table because in our table <laughs> is the Thailand the the the, the royal family. Mm-hmm. Oh okay. the president of Samsung, mm-hmm. right? And Michelle Yao and all the other actors. And we're in the table. Now there's other tables around our table with all the like assistants and the young people. Yeah. So I get up from the table and I go, fuck this fucking table. <laughs> And where did you go? I went to hung out with like the guys with the mohawks and the suits. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? The preppy cool kids. Yeah. And I'm fucking around with them. And then an executive from the movie, he grabs my arm as hard as he can. He pulls me away from, and he goes, you big rude. <laughs> right. And pulls me back into the big table. 
right? Then I have to apologize to the president of Samsung. And everyone's like, I'm sorry that... Ah. What? And I'm sitting there. And then I got yelled at for because the shirt I wore... Because this was... is the Four Seasons. The shirt I wore, oh, it I wasn't know. a shirt. I know. You... It was ripped. Okay, so... It had the you know the ring the T shirt that had the ring around it right, yeah. mm-hmm. but half of it was gone. Wait, so you half it. So ju- you could just see half of my torso and my left arm, what just was, completely out. What was the thought process? It just got ripped. <laughs> it was hot. It got ripped. <laughs> you see, you ripped your shirt. Yeah, so I showed up like, hey, with one sleeve. I'm a homeless American. <laughs> I'm a homeless American. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, so and, you had one sleeve on? Yeah. Oh, that's the yeah, and my you know what I mean? yeah, possibly. And like, my Very jeans cool. were sagging, so my pubes were showing. I just walked in, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, What's, "Where's the fucking food at?" <laughs> you know, and, teach me how to run on trees. And so that also, I got kind of like, "You can't, uh-huh. you can't do that." Yeah. And then I'll tell you the last thing that happened because I've never told this story before. Okay, listen. Okay. So I show up shooting this movie, and so I don't have a trailer. Mm. Okay. So Michelle Yao obviously has a gigantic double banger thing, Mm -hmm. right? And then there's a kid that's a star in it named Henry Lau. He's a huge Korean pop star. Mm -hmm. And I used to like sleep in his, he let me sleep in his thing, right? Right, but one day I just said, I can't, fuck this. (laughs) so angry. (laughs) I got crazy. You're there for two months. Yeah. Yeah. Like a month in, I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm being eaten alive by fucking mosquitoes. I'm sitting there, you know what I mean, with with the other extras. Oh. <laughs> with the extras? Yeah, I mean, I, I had no place to go. I go fuck this. Saying. So I call my agent. Uh-huh. The worst move I could have made. Really? The worst move? Yeah, so check this out. This is what happened. Ben Day, my agent, finds out about. He calls Korea. Because it's not an American the, movie. Just all yeah. of Korea gets yeah, called? Yeah, the person, I know. He called um, CJ Entertainment, uh-huh. which okay. is, the, you know. <clears throat> and he fucking rips them an asshole. He's like, this kid, you know, I'm lying. He's A-list or whatever. You know what I mean? He's yeah, A-list or So then they gave me and two other actors one trailer. Uh-huh. That's fine. Air conditioning. But the Thai crew stopped talking to me. No. So every time I would walk by a Thai crew, they would go, oh, here come Mr. Hollywood. Oh, Fa- okay. Calling his yeah. agent and everything, you know? <laughs> Oh, Mr. Hollywood, I need a trailer when we don't have the budget to do it. <laughs> and no, and I was out. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, let that be a lesson. Yeah. That um, also happened in, uh, okay, we're not talking about that. <laughs> Sensitive subject. It happened on Pineapple Express, too. You demanded a trailer? You demanded a And then the, he got cut out of the movie. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Well, Regrets. We yeah. all learn. That's not why I got cut out. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I, I listen. I, and I apologize to when and when I was shooting Love. The uh-huh. um the head AD was one one time was the AD during that po- other party scene where we did at that one place. Right. That lady, she did Pineapple Express, and I I literally walked up to her and I apologized for my behavior on Pineapple Express. Wow. Ken and I had the same part. Ken Jung, uh-huh. we're but henchmen or whatever, but he got a trailer, and I didn't. At the time, I had done seven years on Mad TV, and I had done a couple of movies. You know what I mean? Did so he I'm do like, Hangover? No. Oh, no Hangover. No, yet. not at that point. Ah. So in my head, I'm like, how the fuck did this guy get a trailer? Right. And making a phone call to my agent was the worst move I've ever made in my life. Oh, yeah. So anyway, let that be a lesson, too. <sighs> don't Never call complain. To all you youngins. Don't call our agents. Don't call your agents don't, ever. Wow. Never you sit there and you get bit by mosquitoes and you take it, Chris. <laughs> you never complain because at the end of the day, it's like right. the reason. It's not a personal reason why I don't get a trailer. Mm-hmm. Is because we have so many people here and we're trying to juggle so many balls. Can you just not have a trailer, right? And just sit outside. It's mm-hmm. also hard not to take it personally, especially when you feel like you've worked. You had just gotten off something for seven years, right. you know. So right. I could see where you're coming from too, but I mean, every Mexican teenager in America knows who he is. <laughs> Very true. Yeah, that's true. Very true. That's you should true. add that to your actual like resume. Every Mexican, Mexican teenager <laughs> knows who I did am. Did you audition for the new Map TV? I didn't. Why? Um, no, I didn't get the call. But John Bernholtz did, and now he's a writer. On I know. It. I saw him over there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't want this something you don't want to do. No, I never said that. No, yeah, li- listen to me right now. This is an SNL guy. <laughs> you want to do SNL? I, I came close to SNL. You came close. How close? They flew me to New York six times. 
Oh, very close. My That's God. as close as you can get. <laughs> yeah. Six times they Amazing. flew over there? Six times. At one point, Lauren Michaels told me he was going to hire me. And I just had to, had to wait. wait for Jason Sudeikis to leave. And then another year went by. I auditioned again. I auditioned on that stage three times. Oh, man. And I met with Lauren three times. Wow. Oh, my God. And then, and then when you didn't get it, uh-huh. how did you feel? Anger? I felt anger. I resentment. Felt resentment. Sadness. Yeah. It was three years, man. Three Shit. years I went through this. Yeah. Oh, my God. Will you go through it again? Never. You will not go out again? I think... So, you want me to get into this? Yeah, I really want to get it. I really want to hear it. I think me not getting that show, and I'm not a religious man, I don't believe in God, but I think it was a blessing in disguise, me not getting that show. Because at Second City, I was drinking and I was drugging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And everything else, not meth, not heroin, but everything else. And I think the stress of that show would have just, I would have just done more of that to deal with it. And I think I would have killed myself. I think I would have died. You 100%. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah, I mean that is great that you yeah. that you because came to that. He relapsed on when he got mad. TV. You did, yeah. yeah. I had twelve years of sobriety Bef- leading up. Yes. Oh, I, didn't I got know sober that. when I was seventeen. Mm. Whoa! In did AA. not know that. Like, that's my. I spent my whole twenties in AA. Wow. And I got mad. Good for you. And I show up, and three months in, I'm fucking one hundred percent twenty four seven relapsed. I bet. You know what? It probably would have been a similar picture for you. New York. Sure. Yeah. Oof. I know the stress of that fucking show. Oh, my sketch got cut. Oh, I'm you know oh, fucking yeah. and the light night life. The of night that. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It would have been bad, but um, I think you would be great on a show like that. Oh, thanks. But you would never do mad. I didn't say that. Yeah, I, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> above it. He's it's above it, sweetie. You're above it. <laughs> no, no you, you. No, there's a lot of guys. My friend Fahim Anwar. He opened for me. Mm-hmm. He got an audition and he didn't do it. And he goes, I just don't. Think it's what I want to do. He wow. wants to do sketch, but he's like, it's just not at the level of what I want to do. I and see. I'm like, I understand that. Uh huh. One hundred percent. Right. You, and also, if you're not, you know, if you're not in need of that immediate paycheck, you can make choices like that. So if you, I think that that isn't necessarily a bad move on Fahim. You know, he's doing well. He just got signed with CAA. Yeah, but he so. needs money. He does I, need money. Don't, know that. don't speak on behalf of somebody. Training else. videos. Well, like training videos. Training videos. Training if videos. all else fails, go back and do training now. videos. I will say this: L- love, biggest break in my career. So Good. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> you. Lo- so when you got you auditioned, obviously or no? I auditioned for three different parts, and then what wh- part? Uh, oh. Ooh, wasn't right for any of them, and so then they wrote a part for me. Nice. Oh. That's why my character. That's how you know you're good. Thank you. That's why my character's name is Chris on the show. Mm. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you went in for Allison, right? I went for Allison. Thank God, Allison Jones saw me in Chicago at Second City. She saw me on stage, so that was great because she saw what I could do. Mm-hmm. And how cool of her to fucking fly to Chicago to just check out talent. You yeah. Know? I want to yeah. say this. I don't, have I ever said this on the show about Allison? Mm-mm, um, not yet. Yeah, probably not on the show. I, I'm going to tell you this right now. Allison Jones is a casting director in L.A. And 